Okay, hopefully that is live. I'll find out when somebody spots it and joins in and says something. And I will wave and that will be very exciting. So, um, here we are. I'm Talis Kimberly. I'm in my kitchen on the sofa. And, oh, there's a smell of bread over there. There's a really gorgeous loaf of bread that my daughter has made. I'm going to be burbling, which I do, and singing some songs, which I do. Uh, from now to about half past and then we'll have a little break and then another half hour and I can see a couple of folks watching there so obviously this is going out there we're live hey good it's working all right I'm doing this in part because I was really inspired by a, a live vid from uh, the captain of the lost waves last week I'd met him on a friend's Facebook and I just happened to catch a bit of his live stream and it was so intimate and friendly and warm and kind it opened a little door in my brain that had been shut for a while and made me think, I could do that. I, I, I want to do that. I, I want to get some, yeah, let's get some songs out there. So, uh, so in fact, I, I burbled out a song while he was finishing his set. I'm sitting there plugging away. So this was very much inspired by, um, by his work. Uh, it's a very new thing, and it's why I've called this session um, Good Evening to You, Mrs Moon. These are kind of strange times. It's taking us all in different ways. Well, I like my solitude as much as the next soul, but I'm starting to feel it now. Screens full of faces never in sync, and after the silence is loud. seedlings to cherish wondering whether they'll keep me from hunger if the systems were accustomed to vanish well, still the sky blazes and the brown hair runs and the apple trees almost in bloom well, I'm here and I'm breathing for now that's enough good evening to you Mrs. Moon Somebody asked me, someone replied with a story. Lines in the dirt tell us our tribes, which kingdom, what power, whose glory. Well, still the sky blazes, and the brown hair runs, and the apple tree's almost in bloom. I'm here and I'm breathing, for now that's enough. A good evening to you. Mrs. Moon, Mrs. Moon. Coyote is a crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. I hear there are dolphins in Venice. My friend, Mrs. Moon, you're a comfort to me. This season of sorrow and solace. Still, the sky blazes and the brown hair runs. Trees almost in bloom. Well, I'm here and I'm breathing. For now, that's enough. A good evening to you. I'm here and I'm breathing. For now, that's enough. A good evening to you, Mrs. Moon. There we go. So that is very brand new. It's not been written a, a week. The poor thing. Um, but yeah, the apple trees, I've got, uh, got five in my garden and Best Pools just started to put out that, that first little, um, first little bloom a couple of days ago, which is gorgeous. And oh, it smells so sweet. Later in the year there will be apples and then there will be apple pie and apple crumble and apple cake, all the good things. So I had a, a absolute bumper set of requests from people, which was lovely uh, to have folks responding to this idea with, oh, any chance of this song, that song? Uh, it was lovely to see what, what people like and what people remember. Um, some of which are songs I went, oh yes, I can do that. And some were a little bit, I haven't done that one for a while. Um, so no promises, as I said on my, on my Facebook, no promises, but there will be some requests because some were a little bit more under the tongue than others. Um, I've also been asked specifically for, for a knitting song or two. So, uh, so we have to do that. 
In fact, I think uh, I think Lynn Harrison and somebody in Helen Shoulders' family both put in Oakcrest here. Yeah, so here we are. It's uh, here we are in lockdown. What's I gonna do? I already know how to make bread. I've got nothing to knit but my own body weight in wool. Here we are in lockdown, what's a girl to do? I already know how to make bread. I got nothing to knit but my own body weight in wool. So, I could make you a pair of socks. Would you like that? Would you wear them? Would it be a nice thing? Would you like a pair of socks from the hands of your own dear love? I could make a pair of socks. Would you like that? I'll do my level best to make them fit. We could get the wool this weekend. And have waffles at the cafe. No, wait, the cafe's shut. The yarn shop's shut as well. Well, we could order online, you know, and maybe I'll make waffles for you at home. Yeah, that works. But I won't make you a jumper. I won't make you a jumper. I won't make you a jumper. No, no. If I make you a jumper. If I make you a jumper. If I make you a jumper. It'll be the end of us. No, not gonna do that. No, I have read on the internet. It's a true thing, it's a real thing, and it happens all the time. I read on the internet about the boyfriend jumper curse. It's true! I read on the internet. You can make socks, you can make hats and scarves, are safe too. But if you hand over that jumper, it's curtains for the two of you. So I won't make you a jumper. I won't make you a jumper. I won't make you a jumper. No, no, if I make you a jumper. If I make you a jumper. If I make you a jumper. It'll be the end of us. No. Not gonna do that, no. Still, there must be some exemption if you're living on a Scottish island and fishing for an actual fisherman. That's a different case, right? You and me, we live in a townhouse. Kinda used to having you around. You take me shopping for yarn. You don't see the mind. I need you all over the place. So I could make you a pair of socks. Would you like that? Would it be a nice thing? I could make a pair of socks from the hands of your own dear love. But I won't make you a jumper. I won't make you a jumper. I won't make you a jumper. No, no, if I make you a jumper. If I make you a jumper. If I make you a jumper. It'll be the end of us. No, it'll be the end of us. No, it'll be the end of us. No, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Better be the end of us. Not gonna do that. Not make anyone jump on. Not gonna do that. Better be the end of us. Not gonna do that. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not making you a jumper. <laughs> I'm seeing all the messages coming up and it's lovely. Um, but I have to like, if I, if I stop and read them, then, you know, my lyrics will go and I'll stop singing and playing. But I'm seeing little bits coming up and, and oh, it's so lovely to see you all there. It really, really is. And I've got, Tom is jumping. Okay, and then we've got some knitting going on and, and knitting of hats and, and oh, splendid. On. So um, my, my off-screen crew, uh, their Pippa has just gone upstairs. Um, and Simon is manning buttons and things and has Hello. made things work. So bits of harmony and conversation that float through, that'll be that'll be Simon. Hi Stoff, hi Maria, hi James, nice to see you all. So good to see so many folks here. Right, so where are we? So we've had we've had a knitting song. So now um another bit of craft work. And this was also requested. Um this was requested by um by Helen, Helen B. And uh, oh yeah, so there we go, there we go. I'll take a bit of a sip of water before I launch in. This is so peculiar sitting here, and I know you're all there. And I have to look at this little tiny, tiny pinpoint at the edge of the, the edge of the iPad and just imagine that that's sort of attached to a tube. And at the other end, there's this whole, you know, 
global audience of all sorts of wonderful, wonderful people who I know and love, and, and possibly some of you who I don't even know yet, but it's, you're all very, very welcome. We're gonna have some fun. Okay. So, we've had an editing song, we're gonna have a spinning song. One of the things that I write, to, write about fairly heavily is, is folklore and fairy tale. And this is a very favorite story of mine. It's the, um, the seven swans, or the seven geese, Swans, geese, depending on which version. Sometimes it's nine, and sometimes it's eleven. But it's where the uh, the, the the sister has to um, turn nettles into shirts to bring back her brothers from having been turned into wild geese or wild swans, depending on how many and which version. So it brings together several of my favourite things. Um, so we've got craft work, um, and we've got gardening because she's going to harvest the, the nettles and the you know all the rest of it. Um, and, uh, and of course, you know, it's the sister who's the hero in this one, so... This is Queen of Spindles. Last night I go to bed, the Queen of Spindles. Tomorrow I must wear another crown. This bit of silk I'm spinning, oh, it burns me. But I keep the spindle turning round and round, and love will seal my lips to every murmur. For silence was the witch's best advice And love will heal my hands of every blister For that who is a portion, a portion of the price I am the queen of spindles Spider catch what spider keep Spider when you're fast asleep My lover keeps me prisoned here in darkness my pyre is standing ready just outside. I've some woven scarce enough to save them. My brothers, will you realize? I tried, nor am I quite alone here in my weaving. A spider makes a web above my head. Or shall I quite despair until they burn me? But I cannot break the spell when I am dead. I am the queen of spin. Spider catch what spider keep, spider when you're fast asleep. Spider spin, spider sew, who knows where the spider goes? Oh, now how can I have slept when such awaits me? And how are these shirts finished? All but one. See all my nettles spun to yarn and woven, and the spider's web still scarcely just begun. Well, morning brings a terror around the daylight. I sense my winged brothers near Fling what I've woven to them skyward Where once for seven swans Seven young men appear And love sealed my lips to every murmur For silence was the witch's best advice And love will heal my hands of every blister Two is a portion, a portion of the price I am the queen of Spider's web is done. Always good fun to do that one. The uh, the other uh, thing, the last year in uh, in my household here is that I, I spin a bit. I know how to use a spindle, and I know how to use a spinning wheel. But uh, to everyone's surprise, my husband Simon has become quite the spinner of the household. He's turning out lovely yarn with which he's now weaving, and I've woven, uh, I've knitted socks out of it, and uh, yeah. Mm. Some of you will know, we sort of inherited some sheep, so uh, wool, wool features, you know, in, uh, in our household. Now I'm going to go from one queen to another here, and this was also a request um, by Nicole. So I hope, uh, I hope you and Layla, either you're watching now maybe, or you can catch it later, because we, we talked about this one, and you've mentioned that you wanted to, um, for, for Layla to be able to hear it, following a conversation you'd had. I saw, I saw a television, television programme about She-Wolves of England and it told this marvellous story about Queen Matilda who was a claimed queen 
but never crowned. The barons called her Domina, mistress, but she was never Regina, never queen. But she was the daughter of the king, and he wanted her to rule after her. And she, she had her armies, and this was, this was the civil war that, if any of you read or watch Cadfile, it's, it's that, whole, that whole time of English history. Um, but this particular bit that caught my, caught my imagination was that she had been captured by her cousin Stephen, who was her opponent in, in the Civil War, and she'd been imprisoned in Oxford Castle. She escaped in a blizzard, wearing a white cloak over the frozen moat. Oh, and I, I, I sat there and I thought, why aren't there folk songs about this? And the light bulb went off on my head and it's, you know, well, there had to, there had to be one. There had to be one. Just imagine, she, she thought she had a God-given right to rule. So she decided to walk out over the ice and see what happened. The song is called A White Cloak. Three good men of noble heart shall be my company. Grant them grace, these noble men, and lend them loyalty. And we will cross the river. And we, we will cross the river. Three good men shall be my company. Let them be of noble heart. Grant them grace and lend them loyalty. No 
Domena, 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 Domena. white cloak and I, I was trying to see the little things that come up I know that's new to a lot of you I've performed it a bunch of times with the band less often solo but um oh that's one that's definitely easier to do standing up I have to tell you because um I kind of want to jump around with it probably tell okay so oh yes another request okay so we've had a bit of inching and uh, we've had a bit of spinning um, so now something very <clears throat> non-traditional. Everybody loves a good ballad, don't they? A good, uh, good murder ballad, you know, with a good, uh, good head count. I wrote this. I started writing this on the way home from Bradford on Avon Folk Club um, a couple of years ago. And uh, uh, no, not that one yet. No, no. No. Oh. <laughs> no. oh no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong. He's right. Yeah, yeah. it's right. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> got props moving around you know it's it's all go here it's all go. there we go right Chantal if you're out there you requested this one here we she go is. <laughs> oh now I need to take a sip of this while uh <clears throat> while I remember how it starts how's it start I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna do something else because it's gone out of my head. Having just done the introduction, oh. this happens. It happens. It does. It happens. Um, I know. I'm gonna put something else in that's a little bit on the humorous side, right? And for which I have, I've given myself permission to have some of the words here, which is not like me, because uh, if you see me live, I tend to like to memorize things uh, when I'm on stage. But given that I only decided to do this on Saturday morning. I thought um, that I could have a bit of fun doing some old songs and some new songs if I let myself have the words. So, whoa, just there, off screen. Got all written down. Okay. Um, you know that thing where everybody knows a little bit of something in a foreign language which is amusing and entirely useless? Oh. If you start a conversation like that, everybody in the room will come up with, oh, yes, I know the whatever it is, uh, the Hungarian for too much cabbage or the, um, uh, what is it, the Japanese uh, surigiri, which is uh, the term for trying out a new sword on a chance passerby. Because you need a word for that. Um, anyhow, this came out of, uh, this was Jane, our friend Jane Eggers, Who's commenting. Here? Oh, right. Hi, Jane. Uh, commenting when Simon had spoken about a very muddy walk to work across a very waterlogged field one day. And she said, oh, I know the Swahili for that. Shambalangu. Shambalangu ne debwe debwe. Uh, and I heard the phrase and I thought, oh, I like that. It was one of those, and I use it as an example when I do, um, when I do workshops for songwriting because you can't, it, Shambalangu ne debwe debwe just falls into this rhythm. It just, it just, Shamba, Shambalangu ne debwe, debwe debwe, Shamba, Shambalangu ne debwe, debwe debwe, son tell de raisin. Gardez-vous de la pan. Inu no kintama means something slightly rude in Japan. Koiran palette, that's the same thing, only in Finnish. But Nadalikaloan and Bramangath are my favourite words in Cornish. I love the lilt of the language, the way the syllables follow. And I take particular pleasure in singing all the Swahili I know. And it goes, Shambalangune Deboy Deboy, Shambalangune Deboy Deboy, Shambalangune Deboy Deboy. My field is waterlogged. Which was, uh, yeah, could you hear that? Did you hear that? Did that come through okay? My field is waterlogged. There we go. I wasn't sure if it was, <laughs> your what? Your something is it? No, I don't need to know that. What have you eaten, Glyn? Oh, good Lord. There's a second verse to this. I've no idea what I'm at. But surely, you'll tangle me a day del dentista. Well, you know that's going to hurt. 
Next hono temo teddy tie. It's like asking for help from the cat. El kel ka. Push tashu tok tell la 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 nick tok ta tok. Too much cabbage in that. Oh, I love the little talk, the language, the way the syllables flow. And I take particular pleasure in singing all the Swahili I know where it goes. Shambalangu ne da boy da boy. Shambalangu ne da boy da boy. Shambalangu ne da boy da boy. My beard is waterlogged. Very waterlogged. Shambalangu ne da boy da boy. Shambalangu ne da boy da boy. Shambalangu ne da boy da boy. My beard is waterlogged. Still waterlogged. Shamba. Shambalangu ne da boy. Da boy da boy. Shamba. Shambalangune Debwe, 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 Shamba, Shambalangune Debwe, Debwe, Debwe. My field is waterlogged. So there you go. Now you know a bit swingily. Right. So that was that. And somebody did ask for that. It was Mandy. Mandy. So I don't know if you're there, Mandy, but there you go. You did ask. No, Mandy James asked for that. It. Oh, there you James go. James never heard it before. There you go. In, oh, where's it go? there we go, there's my prop. Here we go. In a tower tall by the western sea. This is the murder ballad, by the way. Very <clears throat> not traditional. A mother and maid who were sitting, the one her harp upon her knee, and stripy bed socks they were knitting. The daughter loved a noble lord, but alas, his wit was wooden. Still they may speak most who know the least. I could mansplain like a good'un. The mother loved her daughter well, but the young man's speech was torment. Naught could be said, but he'd know best. And come back with some smart-ass comment. Red runs the wool between my fingers. Red runs the wool from the coloured skein. Red runs the wool on the pointed needles. Nor shall I see my love again. Oh, mother dear, where is my John? He was to ask if we could marry. I was delayed out on the road. It was chocker down the cash and carry. Nor shall you see John again. For all you plead and wheedle. For he did mock my hand knit sock. And so I stabbed him with a needle and laid his grave out on the grass that grows on yonder hillock. <laughs> oh, he is comely in thy sight, and a complete and utter pillock. Red runs the wool between my fingers. Red runs the wool from the coloured skein. Red runs the wool on the pointed needles. Nor shall I see my love again. Cold now he lies beneath the sod. The jolly sheep shall have the grazing. And when tis time to shear the flock, I'm sure the fleece will be flippin' amazing. And I will make a skein so fine. And spin both day and night time. Nor pause for rest, nor pause for sleep. Do my best work under deadline. Red runs the wool between my fingers. Red runs the wool from the coloured skein. Red runs the wool on the pointed needles. Nor shall I see my love again. Oh, if you found him so uncouth. Mother, I wish that you had said so. The field so full of punctured youth. We're going to need a bigger meadow. If aught I've said has caused distress, my friends, be not disheartened. Full courteous be in your dress, or I'll come put you with a sharp end. Red runs the wool between my fingers. Red runs the wool from the coloured skein. Red runs the wool on the pointed needles. Nor shall I see my love again. Nor shall I see my love again. <laughs> there we hour. go. Um, That's half an hour. It's half an hour? Yeah. If it's half an hour now, let's stop for a bit, go to the loo, grab a cup of tea, and we'll come back in about eight minutes. Something. Eight minutes, and we'll do all some more other things. 
with more surprises. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in a bit. Eight minutes time and we'll be back here.